Hello everyone, I'm Nassai Mancini and welcome to Nubia Smile Stories, a show where we show you how we've changed the lives of people one smile at a time. Today, we are talking about Carrie. Carrie suffered from dental issues his whole entire life and had over 25 failed root canals. He is soon getting married and cannot wait to smile in his wedding pictures. Not only is he gonna have memories that last a lifetime, but now he is also going to have a smile that lasts a lifetime as well. Carrie is so excited about finally being able to eat steak again and chew it properly. Carrie says the best thing about coming to Nubia is he finally has a smile that he hasn't seen in 20 years. He says it truly feels amazing. Oh, it's been, I've been missing these for six or seven years. I had over 25 root canals, crowns, and posts. All, almost all my teeth, this is a break. They were all done when I was relatively young, in my 20s, and they've just failed and broken off. And, yeah. I was chewing a piece of steak a few weeks ago and I got something stuck between my teeth and I was, uh, what, what teeth I have left, and I was prying on a toothpick and I, I had one felt like it was, they've just been falling out and breaking off and I felt one that was loose and I said, uh, I can't, I, I can't lose one in the front. It's, I've already come close enough on the, on the sides, so, yeah, no. I'm a very social person and my job requires me to interact with people and I already feel like, you know, if I smile too big, I've missed, I've got big gaps back there. And, you know, you, with broken off teeth and stuff, you get, you get, you know, decay and, and breath issues and um, just all those things. I just, I miss my teeth. Now I miss, I miss being able to chew food because I really can't, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm limited to front chewing my food in small bites. One, one of the things that I'm horrified of having was denture breath, ever. It's gonna be a different, uh, a different experience seeing myself with a full rack. It's been a while. All right, this is uh, Carrie. Carrie came into us uh, uh, a few months before his fiance, uh, Michelle, and he came into us because he had pain, infection on the upper, uh, didn't like the way his teeth looked, wanted something better, wanted something permanent. And you could see he came to us, a lot of broken off teeth in back, crowns placed on all the remaining uh, uh, front teeth. These are these, these really bright white lines. Those are root canals done. So he definitely paid thousands of dollars for, for these teeth, many thousands of dollars. And as you can see, everything's failing. He has abscesses, infections up here. None of these teeth on the upper are salvageable. Um, on the lower, he has a bridge across the front. So that's this floating area. That everything looked good there. Our biggest concern was the upper. So what we did for him is take out the remaining upper teeth, got out all that infection cleaned everything up, placed some implants, and then made him a prosthetic so that he could have teeth that are screwed in and don't come out and he could function the way he did 20 years ago. And so um, I'll go over his post-op x-ray. All right, so this is Carrie's post-op x-ray of the upper. As you can see, we took out the remaining upper teeth. We got out all the infection, uh, ended up placing several implants in the upper. Um, everything looks really good. We have a, a prosthetic on the upper, so now his teeth are screwed in, and so he's able to eat everything that he, he wanted to and everything he could before, uh, before he started having issues with his teeth. Um, as you can see, these are all very long implants. Um, this, just for uh, uh, so you know what we're looking at, this is the, the patient's nose right here. These are the cheekbones up here, the uh, lower uh, a portion of the eye would be right here. And so uh, uh, what we do when you come in, um, uh, uh, even though I'm sure a lot of, a lot of you have been told that you uh, uh, have a lot of bone loss and that scares a lot of people because you think bone loss, you need bone to be able to place the implants in. Generally, that's not a big concern for us, the, the way that we place implants. So most people lose, when you have natural teeth, you lose bone around this area and it gets shorter. 
that's okay. Um, uh, you're still most likely going to be a candidate for implants. And what we do is take advantage of the bone, the, the nasal floor. So the bone on the uh, uh, right under your nose is white. And uh, as you can see right here, really dense, really dense bone right there. So that's what we're actually going for most of the time when we place implants. And you can see how long these implants are. We're able to go in and take advantage of this nice, thick, dense bone up here to get you implants uh, uh, that, that have, are great, have great stability and that stay in and that are strong. So even if you have lost bone in the back or maybe you have large sinuses, which a lot of people do have very large sinuses, when they lose back teeth, the bone just shrinks back there. And so uh, as a way around it, you could kind of see on this implant, if I turned it, you'd be able to see it better, but the implant is placed at an angle to avoid the sinus completely. So even if you've been told before that you're not a candidate for implants or you think you've lost too much bone, come in, uh, let us take a look at you. We can take a, a, a CT of you and that'll tell us all the information that we need um, if you're a candidate for implants because you most likely are with the, the techniques that we're able to use taking advantage of the good bone that you do have. My name's Kerry Wilson and this has been my Nuvia experience. When I first came to Nubia, I'd done, I had done a lot of research, um, uh, checking around pricing, ha, uh, got quotes from several different places. I, of course, I was, I was apprehensive, um, but as soon as, I, uh, as soon as I came in here, the staff um, and just the energy uh, in the office just made me feel comfortable, at ease, at home. Um, and. From, from the very beginning, uh, the process was just so smooth, so simple. Uh, I was just, um, <clears throat> by, by the end of my first visit, I was ready to, I was ready to do this. So, surgery day was, <laughs> uh, surgery day I came in, I remember um, talking to one of the assistants and they put a little, felt a little pinprick and the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was walking into my house. Some good friends had picked me up and taken me home. Um, <clears throat> and that was really the beginning of, of an entirely new uh, existence and world for me. I had had dental issues my entire life. Um, <clears throat> at one point, I had, I had, I've had over 25 root canals and crowns done. Uh, and my, my entire smile and mouth rebuilt one at a time, which was a painful and, ex and very expensive process. And it didn't hold up. It started falling apart. Um, and so when, uh, when I looked at the, the process with Nuvia and, <clears throat> and how um, it was going to come together, I, I got kind of excited. The surgery day was, uh, it was painless. My gosh. I sat down in a chair, I woke up at home, and I had, I had a smile I hadn't seen in 20 years. It was, it was, it was amazing. Post-op surgery, definitely, <clears throat> the, the day after was, was not that bad, two days after was not that bad. Day four and five were probably the most difficult. Um, I had some swelling, I could feel it, but it wasn't really visible. I, you know, my head didn't swell up like a bucket. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was, uh, there was some discomfort. Yeah, after about a week, I was on, the, I could tell it was on the downside of it. Uh, I never took any pharmaceuticals. The only thing I took for um, the pain was uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol, uh, as they recommended. Um, after that, you know, within, I, within a week and a half or so, I was feeling pretty good. Um, and it just continued to get better. Uh, I, one of the most amazing things is to be able to put a full bite steak in my mouth and chew it and eat it and have it all over my not have because I had gone, I had been chewing on this side, that side, this part in front, that part in the front uh, for so long and I was down to cutting my, my, my food into tiny bites so I could chew it with the fronts because that's all I had left and they were getting ready to come up. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. That was just, that was such a memorable experience. That was my, it was like an explosion in my mouth. They're like, wow, steak, 
Ah, I remember. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, coming up, uh, coming up in uh, uh, in the spring of this next year, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take um, a pretty um, monumental um, trip and marry the love of my life. Um, my sweetheart and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be there in wedding pictures with a great smile <laughs> um, and so is she because I'm thrilled because she's in here doing the same thing that I just did and I'm so excited for her um, uh, that's uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be an amazing venture so I look forward to both of us doing our uh, our, our final I would speak out to anybody that is sitting on the fence, it's, you know, they're scared of it. For one, there's nothing to be afraid of in the process. It's like, it's everything they say it is. You come in in the morning and you walk out with a new smile and they're not lying. And it's, it's just amazing. And it's so, <clears throat> I, I price this procedure all over in all different kinds, but the value of what you get here at Nubia is, uh, it, from my research, can't be beat. Um, <clears throat> so invest in yourself, invest in your smile. It's so worth it. It's it's beyond just having a new look because it does change how you feel about yourself, which emanates out and changes everything in and around your life. Uh, it has affected, <clears throat> it has had such amazingly positive effects on my career because uh, you know my mouth is one of my best tools I talk to people all the time and being able to do that with confidence and not have to worry about them seeing the pumpkin smile from the side or anything like that uh, is so uh, is so <clears throat> liberating it's so amazing it's so worth it to invest in yourself to it. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Nubia Smile Stories. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we release a new episode every week.